Let's get things started here. Bind our opening map with the pistol round. Nothing explosive off the rip. Nice and tepid. That's the approach. Just baiting and waiting for Lev. They're seeing if they can get a response out of Lau, but they're also just holding. Kawazin was at the fault line ready for some sort of flash play down onto Long. QCK with a jiggle peek gets acknowledgement at least with the shots fired. So we know there's some info there. And there's the repeek with the stun trying to catch that timing. And that just allows them to maintain information. Oh, so much oh, I mean, oh, oh. Okay. Holy. Yep. That's how it's going to be. Huh? Try and replace me, huh? Unbelievable. I mean, what a way to begin. Asphalt's just ripping off QCK's head. That wasn't even a duel. QCK had his knife out. He's just trying to get some information. <laughs> it wasn't a fair fight. None of them are against Aspas. And Loud, and they're going to learn that very quickly. Is the group up now? Sadek's bought a shorty, he's holding himself there into lamps. We'll see though, everybody now trying to get a move on here with the flash. Set it up, Cove around the corner. Sadek made pushing him back, exchanging the util so we can still hold on to this ground and get set back up despite the stun. Seconds can left. hold his ground. A plant taps in, they can force out the util, and here comes the phase. Three players, and they have been eviscerated. The Kalat still. Control is theirs, three versus three, and the plant's still not down with 15 seconds left, seeking to deny. It's a bit of raw Fight spam and damage it. being done, but still evened Bad out, out standing. wide. That's less now, doubled up. One player alone, it's all king. Almost with the kill. The wall up for the reposition. Now backing to the side, down. a tap. Doesn't force him out. Out wide, king. This might be absolutely brilliant. That it is. What an incredible start. From Leviathan, Aspas to open it up, King to finish it. And King had a really rough beginning to this year's version of games. He came into that opening match against 100 Thieves, and I've never seen such Jackson's a poor performance from him. Down. And now instantly to start up against Lau. Grabbing three and winning a 1v2. <laughs> Disappointment written on Sadak's face. King is normally such a beast of a player. And I was wondering, with him calling now in English, maybe it was going to get a bit more difficult. Maybe we would see King not have those insane performances, but you can't read too much into just one performance. King's already trying to rewrite his opening to 2024. Yeah, what a beginning. You are right, you know, it's got that added stress, I suppose. Of, uh, you're communicating, uh, trying to IGL in a different language, brand new team environment. I mean, you don't really have any of the pre-existing core other than you and Mazzino. Now, Les has taken the timing here past King. We've seen so many of these eco rounds converted. Ooh. The teams with guns have to be really careful not to fall into some kind of trap. And there are four players here on B. Campbell stack, not really two grouped together though. I mean, it's not like they're holding for hard control of B long or hooker. They can actually go through the teleporter as well if they realize that this is a stack, because King has the entirety of A. We'll send flying with a knife to Molly's yet. Yeah, they don't like what they see or hear. What if for the TP? And like you said, it's that prior space the King has gained and granted. Will be an easy plant on the eco. They won't necessarily expect less to be on the flank this early, but the flank still have to one short. Nice flash play, bit of damage there onto Aspas. He's got to really respect this one now. Backing with the rest of his team. No way, no way! Unbelievable. Allowed really going to be getting away with this with the classics. Unbelievable. And through the cove, Mazzino seeking to hunt them down. Damage. Players are low here. Surely QCK and two years can't do it. They would have to just do the improbable. Picking up an upgrade with the rifle and two years. His hands are tap, baiting it. Here's the swing from Tex, and he does claim the one kill. QCK, surely not yet. Does not have enough health to contest. Tangle with them. Close though, certainly close. But nicely navigated by Leviathan. Looking at Tex with that Gecko ult online, that offers them plenty of opportunities to try and get in onto Loud. If you look at Loud's composition, which, I mean, this now is not looking just One like it was a comp for Ascent. This is now looking like something maybe that, you know, they're pioneering almost like the Harbor Viper from last year. But this compositional idea seems really good at being able to deny the plant on A. And I think Tex having this Gecko ult online should push the Loud players back and allow them a bit of an easier time of it. The rifles are in the hands now at the Loud players. Nice molly to break this one, but does he anticipate four players grouped up less? 
For sure respect oh, yeah. there. Have a wall up. Now the Gecko, like you said, Thrash Cove to try and prevent it being spammed out of Broken. It's hopping all over the bloody place. Flash through. But this is just space, right? And this actually allows them to be able to get the plant down without loud spamming mollies at them. That's a win. So there we go. Set themselves up into the post plant now. An important fight to be taking place. Lamps control needs to be held this entire time. It's Com's job. There is so much utility for this retake. Molly. So many flashes. All fades away. They didn't expect Sadak to be up onto that angle quite that quickly. Spam again through the box. Can they take the fight together? Yes. Weaving in and out. The timings are definitely there for them. But loud, they've got that extra firepower with the weaponry, with the rifles. Maybe enough to sail them away to a victory. And indeed, it is. No real danger there. Let them get the plant down and all. You know, Josh, you were theorizing. We were both talking about it. Kind of the amount of mollies and plant and out that Loud have. It seems like that might have been a part of their, their game plan, but they had no difficulties getting back into the side there. So we're looking at Loud. With QCK not buying anything, okay? At all. Maybe just in a bit of a fluster coming out of the timeout. But it's a decent economy for both teams, aside from. The Phoenix with the classic and no armor. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Doctor set it up as well. Nade through the back. There's a knife to try and delay along with the nade, but not really going to be stopped from gaining all that space and grab. There's a kill. That's a refight as well. Out through showers this entire time, and everybody evacuates. What do you say the other day, Josh? Let's TP my kittens. So they want to go straight into the side. It's up to Les to try and do the most in this situation. Round towards the back inside. Eventually cleaned up by Aspasters. The initial trade. The side will be theirs, but well, denial of the plan. Yeah, from the orbital strike. Overkill, perhaps. Tucked close. That's Aspas. Wait it now. Cut noise. Three players left standing here for left to try and do something about it. Four players from Loud trying to make their moves across. There it is. Clean up. Finally there, but a wrap around of Tex. Oh, this is rough. Deletes two years. All popped off. It's going to be protected from the side here. Trying to at least run themselves onto the side. Now the O's being popped off. Mazzino stuns across the board. Takes care of that one. Now they can reposition and play a little bit differently here. Wall. Crept up, propped up now against them. And they're going to try and push back against this. It's Wars on Wars, but nobody looking close to the corner. Kawazine. Takes him out, one versus one, a tap. Baiting with the spam, the damage in his face still. Plenty of time, Zeno. Huge in the 1v1 there against Cohen Zine, a player that was absolutely outrageous in the La vs. Sentinels game in terms of the impact that he was able to put out. But he gets put down there. And Levy Tan hold on. An awkward situation in the retake as QCK popped his ultimate and Kalanzin just had to watch his back. Lev managed to navigate that and a nice little push from Tex. Then also tucking himself in the corner and avoiding the fault line. These rounds are going to get chaotic as teams navigate the utility on either side. Now we're seeing Lev with a raise rocket moving their way towards showers. Sadak is going back to that old tried and tested judge. <laughs> And he, he just always seems to find value out of it. Yeah. Opposing side, though. Lev have got some beautiful tools to set up for another round, and it will be a snowball one. It will reset the economy. They win it. Aspasa, the showstopper. And they're just crawling up onto the angles. I mean, very little noise being made. A couple of footsteps, but I don't down. seem wise to it. Flash over the top of the dizzy. Now the satchels, and here we go. Showstopper. Is close and forwards. There's a rocket for you. Almost direct hit there. That's regretting that he just peeked out to the side. Sadak still not to be dealt with here with a boom bar. They hit the judge and they want nothing to do with it. So this is going to establish Sadak's position in lamps and allow his teammates to play off that. They're back in there. They spotted Mazzino as well. That's why they're spamming him with the bullets. They have to make an attempt at re-clearing this Mazzino. Close. Does he dare wade in to the nest? Sadak. Can't really take a timing peeking from this one. He's got to rely on the rest of his teammates to really do something about it. King has just shut it all down from the one side. There was backup in spades. King, this guy, looking monstrous. Back to prime form. Looking incredible in these kind of moments, navigating things well. And with a player advantage, thanks to Aspas' ultimate, Levy and Tan come out to a 4-1 lead. This was Lev's pick. This is Aspas' playground. And the whole team is functioning really nicely. 
managing to Ooh. pick apart Cloud, who looked really tight with each other on the last retake. But here, King is able to pick them off one by one as they swing around triple. Loud's economy is going to get broken. I'm sure they'll have an idea at the start of this round. And we're in. Sadak with a Bucky over towards Shaw. He dodged the Dizzy at the start of the round. And one of the problems here, Bren, that I'm noticing with what Loud are doing is that they're lacking information around the map because they're not playing that kind of info initiator, at least outside of the knife from Sadak. And that means that they're not able to stack the right sites. Lev just kind of bullied them away from showers, contacted forwards, and they're really disguising where they're ending. Here, you know, King gets the pick over towards showers. They're moving towards B. QCK's read it fairly well. But Lev are not going to make too much noise, use too much utility, and make it easy for Loud. That trailblazer, able to clear the entirety of long. It's not the molly now. Second wave of util, but that's going to be running out shortly. Do they still want to commit to this one? Smoke. Dropped TPs, evacuation. Now they don't have showers control. There is one player there. Sadak, close with the Bucky. What can he really do here in this spot, really? Allowing him to get that. Oh, the nade does rebound. Damage, flash, come. It's taking so much. Plan though, we'll get off without any problems. Along with the round here, four players surviving, so no real danger to the economy being done. And look, Loud finally get the information about where Leviathan are going. They're heading towards B. They've stacked it with three out of four of the players alive. And they just go through the teleport. So, at the moment, that seems to be one of the largest issues. They can't pin them down, and if they overstack to try to defend, then the teleport's happening, and Loud are not aiming to keep control of showers. Yeah. Leviathan are putting a serious focus on the outer wings of the map, and it's working really well for them. And you'd think that would be somewhat simple for Loud to deal with, because the breach fault line is so good down B-Long. I mean, if Leviathan are prioritizing B-Long control in order to use the teleporter, there are things that Loud can do about it. The flashes are nasty there, the stun and the follow-up. It should be possible to cook up some kind of answer. But you've got to know that they're there in order to set up for it. Keep garden control, those kind of things. You got money in the buy for loud, so alongside that, the ults. Big one being the Viper's Pit. Les got that in the prior round. He was farming up the Auburn showers. He went down and was pushing out, but that granted him the ult. So you can use that now to adjust some of these defensive setups if he chooses to use it off the rip. Not too sure, but. You've been talking about, you know, that extremity control, just losing it too early. Loud's not really fighting over, you know, bathroom be long, but it could be a good way to just, uh, uh, you know, manage more people over towards those directions. If you have got a Viper Pit to lock down one of the avenues. And it looks like Les is trying to do that right at the start of the round over towards B-Long. Just jiggling her for the moment. Perhaps planning to pop that off noise. But look how quiet these rounds are at the start for Leviathan. Forcing Loud to jiggle peek all over. They're jiggle peeking B long, jiggle peeking over towards showers, trying to get that info about where Lev are pathing. And the dog going down short is not in any oh, way oh, oh, where Lev are headed. Oh, and that's my. another punish on a jump peek for B long. Yeah. It's the info game. That's what it's all about here. Thrash. Straight deep into the site. Send flying. Kawazin. Got to respect it now. Got to back away. Team's not there to help. Aiden Asatchel, a bit of whiffage there. Spasto up onto the high ground. This will be a plant going down most likely. Hello. Up top though, maybe a noise cue being heard. Kawazin, he wants to send this one. Rolling Thunder. Players send packing and flying. King is close to the corner here. The spike was dropped down. They want to refight this into the back of the side. King, he's still alive and active. They don't actually know he's there. Drop to his knees though. Sadak, not down for the moment. Still going to be providing the info, calming this to his team. Stun, misses, thrash, round left. two. Send it back in, trying to help out and bail out the IGL. In through the back of the site. It's only up to Kawazin. He's locked. Isolated to his own devices. It's the back of the site. He can't do anything. It's a 1v3. No more util. Doubled up into elbow. Steadily turning into an impossible round for Kawazin. Have to absolutely go crazy. The jiggle, not enough to overpeat. They can hear the footsteps of tap. Tex taking first contact, but they double up in the end to clean it up. So six to one. 
And Josh, I know you want to talk about it. These jump spots trying to gather the info. Yeah. It's been punishing them. Uh, they totally have. I mean, <laughs> the Levy's hand players relying on one of the things that this roster was built for, incredible mechanics. <laughs> Punishing jump peaks like this is not easy. And as for some text, I'm making it look like it is. I also think that the battle of King inside tube locked in there, ah, but taking the duel against so King, Sorry. it's almost like a personification of the wider battle of the IGLs that's happening in the match. And King was supported so well by the rest of his team there. Here they're trying to go for a fault line play. If Les gets pressured, there's a fault line for him to swing off. But it hasn't been working. No, I mean... He's trying to play for the B-long control with that stun. The problem is Leviathan are not hard committing up B-long. They're poking and prodding and trying to draw out the reaction from Loud. The jump peak or the flash. I think the TP, the cancel that talk out, but really the Trailblazer got a lot of info. And I think it bears mentioning here at this point, when Leviathan are up 6-1 fairly dominantly, yeah. King has never IGL'd his teams to even a map win against Sadox. Yeah. He's just lost 2-0, 2-0, the two times that they've played against Lau. And this is so much more successful than previous attempts. Blinded. We're going to ensure to keep this one going. Tiniest amounts of YouTube being used to just peel out these mollies. Of course, Lau have got the war chest full of them, but they have stacked this side up. There's four players waiting here. Water Could rising. get dangerous, despite the fact that they're on the half by. And Les is ready to shoot them if they I've take that teleporter. Train. 30 seconds left. Might just decide to cancel this one straight into him. We'll see. Wingman, Wingman down, down through. See if Three. they can get that spike planted. And a flash play right into the back of the side, cleaning them up. Beautiful call. One enemy remaining. It's all over. And Louder stacking the right side with four players. And this combo is just utterly deadly. The gecko in the sky. It's so difficult to get around. I love what Leviathan have cooked up here. Ooh. It's so solid. Yeah. You can see Loud trying to adapt to it, trying to hold on. But Don't the fight for backsight is really powerful. And if Loud give up backsight control, trying to get back in is still going to be difficult. It's going to bleed them out of utility. There's no easy answer here. And Loud are losing all of the map control battles. Take a look at that to flash through. They've got flash dizzy combos. They can just go for a pop flash. So many different ways of fighting. Louder scrambling for an answer here. Looks like their solution might be that deep push out through a short. Five players that have left. Everyone through showers. Up to the corner by Aspas, just momentarily playing that anti-flash. Here's the old now, offloaded, sent flying. Mollies to try and delay, buy them a bit of time. The nades might be enough. No, that's just spam up into heaven. They've taken out Kawazin, Sadak. Back against the wall. Hello, lovely shot. The trouble with everybody grouped up into showers, should just give them free reign and space through a short. The call has to be the castle here for Lev. Incredible awareness of the wall bang angles from Sadak. He's doing tiny bits of chunking damage to them. And this is one of the first times, actually, that Leviathan have been stalled out from going for their hit. They don't have an option over towards B. They don't know if somebody's pushed. No Sentinel in this comp to watch the flank. So this is going to be an extraordinarily slow reclear. Now walking through cave. The time is ticking. There's 35 seconds. But for Loud, it is quite difficult to know where have Lev gone. Seconds left. Are they reclearing short? That's Are they going for a re-hit? That's the trouble. Oh, they are. Walk their way over back towards A. Now, they didn't rotate off because of the prior knife that tagged onto Les. Here we go. Explosive. Any other tools to try and delay the plant here could be absolutely essential. Gone. Gone for the plant. Pit laid down on top of this one. Will it be the spam kill? Nothing claimed, so the spike's planted. But the pit's still up too. It makes this one really difficult to try and get them out. Through Aspads! Oh, it's filthy stuff. Filthy stuff indeed. Less though. Not willing to go down without a fight. Comes control for him. Nade bounce back. Sadak gaining at the rifle. Just needs a few stray bullets here, but King just walks straight into the back of the side. Not wide here. Reload, but there's the wraparound of Azino. 
even those fundamentals are falling apart now for Loud. The way that QCK and Kawanzin, or QCK and Tuiz, I think it was actually, took the fight there with each other. Delayed, you know, slowly going through the harbor wall, not both at the same time. Loud have been put under a serious amount of pressure and they cannot find the answer. There was about 15 seconds left for this plant to go down. They didn't have any utility to deny the plant and the pit made it Boy, so devastatingly difficult to get back in. Let's go, this is dominance from Lev. This is huge. This is super team performance shutting down loud right now. This is not Aspas running around the map carrying them. No. If that was your concern with Lev against 100 Thieves, this should start to put that to bed. Aspas is playing great. Absolutely. We saw 2k from him in the prior round. But this is them outmaneuvering loud, playing to the weaknesses of this comp. King is here holding a push. No flashes for QCK. No. It's going to be a late push from King, I think, when his team gets through into A short. Oh, it is the bargain bin by from Loud. They're really working with little to nothing. Molly. And no one player there. Out towards it into showers. Two years. Landing. Nailing these shots. He's run out of bullets. And there's the backstab. Applied by King. Safe pair of hands. Three of them. Left standing here on too loud, less. That's through the TP as well. Makes a bit of a surprise exit there. And with the kill as well, another one. Loud. Sheer force just overwhelming the players onto the site. Leave it just down to comp. One versus three, a tap. Baits it out with the spray. All finally down. Players are low here. This is entirely winnable. For comp, entirely winnable. The Satnak. Not what is in your face to the judge. And it's incredible that the, ra the round that Loud win is mostly due to the fact that Les Solo decides, I'm actually just going to run through the teleporter and one yeah. to these guys in showers. I, I feel like sometimes we have seen that from Loud in the past, where Les just decides, right, the game plan's not winning. I am just going to force these fights and win by virtue of my superior skill. <laughs> but that doesn't bode particularly well, because at that point, you have kind of admitted that the game plan's not working. And Loud, they've only managed to get their second round on the board. Tex with another huge ultimate to work with, and yeah, Loud have got their own. They haven't been able to convert them into any level of success. The calling from King and then Com as the secondary is just running rings around Loud right now with this slow pace to the game, choking Loud out. Oh yeah, Monster Interesting on the position loose. being played here. Thrash and through B. Look at the positioning of QCK and Spawn. He's just playing rotate, trying to help the rest of his team with the Phoenix ultimate. And this, this is all a feint. None of this is real pressure. Just to pull the players over, and guess what? A short control is gained. Sanak holds off, nade laid down, so we can still hold on at least to a bit of a semblance of Lamps control, but he does give it up towards the back of the side of the rest of his team. Smokes, dropped and partitioned. And now, as they rotate, Kawanzin is going to hear all of this. Kawazine. Can he get in the corner in time? Kawanzin, the off angle. He's going to get on your mental, dizzy, broken, but you're right. The clearance was there, Mazzino. Far left flank, able to assist for the rest of his team now. Four versus four, and there's still 50 seconds left. Everything has just been rapid, rapid, rapid. And look, Loud have no idea where Lev are going. They're in spawn right now. They don't know if this is going to be a reaction through the teleporter, moving back over to short, committing to B. They just want to try to get back in with QCK's ult. Oh, oh not again! Oh, brutal. Oh, what a strike though to deny the plant. Still time though. I got the spike. 25 seconds left. That's all the key. For Lev here pulling out that key utility finally now into the post plan. Already flashed through. QCK forwards is the approach. Run it back. Plenty of targets, but only the one removed. But now he's got a second chance, a second lease of life to flank. Sadak. Distracting. All the way behind. Running and cutting. You're in supreme. The battle of the IGLs is all being traded. Has to be heroics. Aspas can't stand up to the challenge. And Loud finally managed to pull two rounds together in a row. This one because they're able to get that flank off. Kawanzin and Sadak both deciding to push on defense. Last Find those solo timings. Hand. If Leviathan are going to group up and try to ping pong from side to side, Kawanzin's going to get a bit of value, a bit of information, and then Sadak the same. Left. After Leviathan committed to B. Even if this half ends 8-4, even if Loud pulls out three in a row at the end. Is that anywhere near enough? I you can't count Loud out, but up. it would be at a massive disadvantage. 
Looks entirely loves game to wrap up. Nice pretty bow, at least for the map. That's fast and never old turned. Deep flash. No real noise cues. Games from this one. Here's the Seekers. Dodging of the knife. But look, Two Louder doing the available. push again. They want to try and fight this one. I mean, they're, yes, they're pushing out into the back of the side. They're all good. Of course it finds his mark. That's fast, though. Eventually shut down your right, Josh. There is a flank attempt to push coming through round to the back. That's two so years. Early. Here in the reload is so damn early, they're not expecting it. Double phase, two years. Too easy. No charge. Spike out in the middle of nowhere. Here's that discipline being instilled now into loud. They slow it down. Don't want to overstay, overstep themselves. It's King Mazino versus the world. Carrying spike. Plant sticking. Really does isolate King into that. The solo player, he will fall. Oh, popped off. Can it be doable, Mazino? Maybe set up for these fights as well with the stuns just being littered. Less. Yeah, he's pushed off. Kawazi, not ready. And a stun missed entirely. Oh, what a clutch. Incredible play from Mazino. Now it's comp is going to work out on their attack side. But what a hell of a hill to climb to try and get back into the map. And if you think about how Loud's composition worked on Ascent, it took map control and then tried to execute with huge amounts of uh, pressure onto the player's anchoring. That, that sometimes on Bind isn't the greatest way to play because it makes it kind of easy for the defenders to figure out where you're going and what you're doing. It's good to see the QCK is thinking about the future. They're, <laughs> they're assuming they're not going to get 13 3 They Yeah, farm up the orb, try and get the ult online. 13-3, I mean, why are we bringing it up as well? That's one of the most brutal maps that Loud have ever lost. Even mentioned it was against Com, it was EG. So you can oh, dish it out again. Is that the series where they came back and smoked them 13-0? Yeah, it think? was, I think, yeah. yeah. They can dish it back out. Yeah, they really can. Here we go, smoke dropped. Played at the feet, what a shot by QCK. Be sitting, thinking twice about that one's a bit of a weird one there. Fight into lamps. King removed. That's fast. Oh boy, chase down and jump peek with the right click. Brutal in every single sense of the word. Corn flash a little bit too deep here. Does not find the mark. Flawless loud round here for loud. Featuring Master Shifu sitting down Tai Lung. <laughs> Gave him the business there, didn't he? So Loud absolutely needed that one. It was imperative that they got it on the board. And they're going to have so many ults starting to cycle up. If they can convert this, start to farm up the Phoenix ult, look good about it on their attack side, there are chances that they can build some kind of snowball that turns into an avalanche. They spot Aspas on the cross. There are so many Leviathan players here. He's got to evacuate. Yeah, he's got a TP. Not that but. that's really a problem. Look how many other people are around. Stun into the corner as a flash play to try to fight this one loud. Stun their ground, rooted into the spot. Almost getting away with it, though. Still alive. They're worried. They don't know exactly how many other players are here. Mizino, of course, could still be on B, as far as Louder are aware. Well played by Kawazin. Walking through, spotting it by Comp. Attempt to just repeat back out, get some of that information. So it should be a clean cut round. All for loud here with the plan online. Because QCK ended up falling though, they're not looking to try to farm up the Phoenix L. Not gonna quite have that one online as far as I'm aware. So a lot of this is about the alt cycling, and I think it's pretty important actually for Leviathan to just go down to spike here. Yeah. You don't want to start building up these huge ultimates that the loud composition is going to have access to. Where's Aspas off to? Perhaps seeing if he can get an exit over towards Hooker. Uh, does he really want to be saving the Sheriff? I wouldn't imagine so, but he's got a little bit of time to sneak back in. Kind of sure, might be able to get the one here. It's just less. Here. One Ooh, enemy hello. Remaining. Okay, there is the one. Zeno goes down to Spike. This next round is going to be absolutely crucial. Les didn't buy, so he's going to be able to afford to bring a rifle into the round. They already have a rifle and two bulldogs, and they're one orb away from Phoenix up. 
This is what I'm talking about. The potential is there for Loud to take this round and start an alt cycle that can really push this momentum forwards for them. Leviathan would love to take this one. Go up 10-5, keep things clean, calm, under control. Stunt that momentum. You don't want to let a team like Loud get going. Aspas goes for the cross again over towards the teleporter on Ooh. B. Jiggle. My king, lucky. It's a bit of a pre fire attempt. Aspas did get the cross, so here he is. Slide off angle. Is that to bait them to push up into Aspas? I think it is. Yeah, the dog through showers. A lot of times the attacking teams are going to try and punish the sky for that, and Aspas is just ready and waiting. They're not expecting it. Yeah! Oh, Holy! What a reaction! Oh, Juicy K is rapid with it. Instantaneous. The fight being taken to him. King now trapped forwards, but there's that old. He's only just taken him out, and as a second go of things, once more spammed. In through the tube, flash into the corner. Pushing back, trying to fight them tooth and nail, but the players are corralled and cornered of Lev in through elbow. Didn't we say it at the start of this round? You don't want to let a team like Lau get going, that momentum. But they've done it now. Maybe Mazzino could do something, but we have to get plenty more after that. Sadak falling. At some point, you got to call it, unless you find another pickoff. Has to be the save here for Lev, so. Ooh. Stun there's a little dangerous too. Mazzino well, might not practicing. find it too easy to get out with his life. He's got the cove. Yeah, doesn't choose to use Takes it. the more dangerous option, Ooh. but he gets out with his life. Leviathan will at least have two rifles into the next. But their economy's going to be in a really unusual spot. Whenever you save in these kind of situations, Tex and Mazzino are going to be hurting for money and wanting to save the rifles again next time. Loud are doing the same kind of stuff they did on Ascent. They're not trying to play the map, ping pong from side to side, make a crucial mid-round call. They take an area of the map, they exec. Good luck stopping them. That's basically the game plan with this composition, right? It's it looked so well really drilled. tough. I mean, that, that swing from QCK is so <laughs> fast. Bullets start flying at Cowanzine, and he's like the Secret Service. <laughs> Leaps in front of them and takes right out. There. Yeah, he just did not care. It was wild. Something to prove, though, I think. Playing like it. And yeah, everyone holding hands up through short walls, go down, seeking to find a player, just walking and wading straight across here. Now, there's always the danger of the stack here. It's a weak buy of uh, Lev, but. Still, I've been removed from the back of the side. Plan of Kawazin. Nothing to delay, nothing to deny. On range artillery to util. That's send flying. Dizzy dealt with. All up now in their faces. These are not super comfortable positions for Loud. No, actually forced them forwards a little bit here. Tex is using this one. No, Wingman taken out. There's a removal. Kawazin spamming through and out, but no one else really tapping to force the fight not towards them. Not much time, Bren. Yep, another tap. Not much time. Out into the open. Com is destined to go down to this one. He's got no chance. Can he get through the TP? No. Nice attempt. But that's the rifle's gone. And now this eco round powers up Loud's ult cycle. Right? That gets Sadak's ult online. It's gonna be like the equivalent of eco kills coming into them, but finding their way back into the map. As low as it goes, there's a stun to clear into Hookah. UCK. It's raining down into the wall just to see if he could tag him onto a player playing that common angle. Again, so much focus on to B. Whenever they've got rifles you online. Are powerless. That seems very early. All popped off for Sadak. Let this one flying here to TP attempt. Kawazin is all the way in. Wow, what a way to pave the entrance for the rest of your team to get the hell in their sight. Planted towards the back of it, actually. They're going to be trying to flip this one on its head here for left, knowing that Hooker is compromised. Cove deep. Mazzino surely is not going to be able to get that. It's a nasty peek. Right before the Cove deploys. 
still going to contend and tackle a lot of these players. Flash underhanded over the top. Mosh pin now they're all in thunder. Something to deny and delay. Pushing them away after shock. You just cannot walk in to the site. It's all in Loud's control. It's not like they might want to go. Yeah, they want to try and make a go at this one, but you just got to save again. Walk away. It's unbelievable the amount of utility that Loud has. Sana got crunched in hookah, and he turned around, threw a fragment to the, uh, a fragment grenade, and suddenly, Leviathan can't do anything about it. And then Levi trying to get on the retake, Kalanzine stuns aftershocks. He got some guns intact. They have their chances for sure. Barriers down. This knife lineup probably going to be landing all the way over towards Garden. Right side of B long. Sadak is actually knifing the opposite side of the map that they're hitting, which could be something that Leviathan can read down. into later on. He's never following the knife, really. Double face. This is left, just seeking to try and fight this one. War, firepower is the name of the game. There was no util to set that one up. Back it away when the trade comes through. Plenty of fuel left here for Les to try and gain some of that ground. His team right next to him. Through showers, flash through, nade, forced out now. Aiming out to of delay. Deep down short, Brent. What's this here? Fight towards default, that's Aspas. One man army, but shut down again by Sadak. Still, they've got control of lamps. Doubled up, side by side, a tap. Not quite committal now by Sadak. Wants to get this plant down towards triple. Rotations abound by Kong. He's going to be a bit late to the party, but he's got the Seekers now to utilize. And pop. Okay, pop flash. Bit skew with. But Sadak's alive. Not punished for the mistake. Seekers. Right behind him. He can't quite deal with it. Nine bullets left. Not enough. King. Run straight up onto the line. Back triple now. And you got to imagine Lev. They're going to have that discipline. Jump spot. No easy fight for two years. I'm known for it. Molly. Drop down. He cannot. Even right walk here. up to them here. Mazzino sticking all the way into the diffuser spam. Half all the way through. There it is. Disaster of Excellent util usage towards the end there from King and Mazzino. <laughs> it's just checkmate. Yeah. You, you throw down the snake bites and you've got the cove. An unlosable situation and a very good conversion of a player advantage. Uh, something that they hadn't really been able to get at any point. Loud had mostly been going for these A hits on the anti-ecos. This duel, though, massive. If Aspas ends up going down the Kawanzine, Kawanzine's got a, a, an awesome position on site to play the rest of his team in. Let's go, King. Thank you. So let's like stabilize. Said, yeah, Lev stabilize and get up close to ultimates. Viper's pit drop down. That's into shorts. That's if you give their defensive setups a bit of extra bite. <laughs> oh my god. I'm lucky to not go down. Aim now for loud. Set the sights on to B. Sadak is just taking hookah on his own. He's alone. Last time they tried to do a hookah crunch on him. And hookah crunches are really good when your Viper's got the pit short. Refight. It's called off for them. Lovely, lovely attempt here with all of it. Satchel through, Les, after shock, nowhere to run, nowhere too high. That's Bats, eventually dropping the refight, call again to Tabert. It's massive. Skipping up all you like to as you're in, escaping away from that one, but from the back, it's Les dealt with. Lev climbing further and further up, figuring out the lamp's orbital strike and send the Phoenix down the lane. Oh yeah, they want to go fast, here we go. Run it back. Flash through, off your feet, but you do not care. Stuns, or drop down. Tech's got a kill to Kawazine. In through the back, and he's just ducked and weaved and dodged, and he's still alive. Mazzino, right to the side of triple here, but Tech's eventually cleaned up. That was a showers player. And now Loud are actually calling a freeze in the round, backing up, inserting QCK. He's really deep in lamps here. And the quieter Loud are, the more Leviathan are going to want to re-clear this and potentially walk into him. How do you re-clear it? FQCK moves forward, flash through. Combined with the QCK peak, the back of the site fully cleared out. All the strike just for the unknown area. Showstopper, showstopper! He saw him! Aspas catching it right onto the toes of QCK plant. Now get off here. Mazzino with the flank all the way through into the back. Everybody peeking this one at the same time. Mazzino lucky to be alive still. Walls up, splits him up. 
They're gonna play in front of this one here for loud. It's gonna make these post plants even more awkward to try and play for. Molly sent flying. Beautiful angle to peek there, but it's cleaned up and traded. The kill confirmed. King! King! And Corbett to the fuse. He stuck this one already halfway through. And the safety in numbers, plenty of them. Teammates got his back. Leviathan have definitely figured out what they're doing now against Loud. They're getting up to map point after one hell of a comeback from Loud, honestly. But let's string three rounds in a row together. And they dominated Shower's control throughout all of that. Mazino started putting pressure behind. Aspas used his ult just to make sure that his team could get into backside and pull off the retake. Good stuff. Good team coordination. Charlie Mike, let's move. And another great round from King. Navigating the ults. Get themselves up to 12. This is your chance, your opportunity here, if you are Lev, to get this map done and dusted, dealt with, and Sadak, well, he was alone, completely on an island. The IGL down, how do you pick up the pieces if you are allowed? Smoke fades. Flash to the corner, QCK, tap of the orb. Again, trying to bait out that response, but no one bites Lev. Calling for the reinforcements, Mazzino now here. Spike is nowhere near. Yeah, Louder playing a spread default at the start of this round. And I think Sadak just thought, based on them hammering B over and over again, he thought they might be conditioned to give up showers. Right here. It's fallen at the start of this round. And to be honest, Loud don't have too much control. They're about to hit into three players on B. Linda stand and deliver. Let's see how strong the defense really is. Molly there, fault line, dodged. King, still going to be active into this fight now with the Cove straight there. Viper Molly's also dropped down. They just cannot get into the site. It's so damn hard for them right now. Kawazin, still in his hands. In through, a little bit too deep there, but it is traded. QCK, instant. Now into the back of the site, but as a smoke just blocking and partitioning, it fades away. Opens a chance up, all for loud. 15 seconds left, time becoming an issue. Mosh Pit colliding with the back of the wall. The nade on top of this when they got to try and get this spike all the way down. Less got to commit to this. Stuns up, Tizzy trying to do the most here, but the bullets are just flying through them. And loud, how have you managed that? There was so much pressure there onto the levy from the levy tan players, sorry. But incredible crossfires from Loud. Mazzino just got left kind of in the open. There's the kill onto him, but he was faced into like three or four players from Loud who'd all got out on, into the site. And you saw how deep Kalanzin got. He just walked out. Yeah. Due to those smokes, the great smoke from Tui's, a cove as well. Loud is still making a big fight of this. Still alive in the map. Hammers with Sadak going down first as well. What a salvage. And way to go, though. Lev have got a few chances. I think one of the questions for Sadak here is, oh, Aspas is on top of truck, actually. <laughs> Just looking for that early pick. And he's tucked to the side, he's trying to play anti-flash. Yeah, he is. You are powerless. That's the old rip, though, with an old command. Maybe loud. Start the barrel. The way into the side here, paving a bit of a way to get this spike down. Split attempt. Both the team. Tired in, grouping up right through showers, so that's gonna be cleared out. And there's a fight being called into the back of the side. They want to try and fight, but it's backside control. Mazzino staying alive, but no, he just can't quite do it. Kalazin! Disgusting performance. <laughs> that's an outrageous timing to push that. Again, Kalazin stepping up. He was instrumental in their win against Sentinels. I actually think he's going to save. I don't think he is going to die. No, <laughs> not right now. I don't think so. But, I mean, what a play from Kalanzin. He was the player that dove out of hookah in the prior round in order to suck up that space for his team and play people in. And this time, finding that avenue to swing back sight. After Mazzino had done a pretty great job there, of being able to right dominate here. a smoke, get his harbor ult off, Kalanzin gets the punish onto him and clean up another two. One away now from the ult, rolling thunder. The war machine keeps rolling. It really does. There is power to this loud composition. 
full blind onto Tex. A punish on Mazzino, who I think was trying to... Oh. And then how does he get Aspas? Is that a 140 at the end? It's not like stealing kills. Aspas dropped 31 in their opening game against Leviathan on this map. And now he's been kept in check. The, the trades, the punishes coming out from Loud have been so huge. Yeah. I mean, because Loud are playing so tight together, if Aspas wins the opening duel, he tends to get punished immediately afterwards. That is so crucial for keeping a star player like Aspas in check. The final boss on his... One of his most dominant maps, Bind, when he played with Loud, is being held down a little bit, and it's fallen to other players like King to step up and try and lead his team to victory. And now the pressure's on King again. Now, Leviathan taking this timeout makes me think the prior one, after those two round wins, was probably loud. Yeah, probably mislabeled. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. would imagine so. They don't get three timeouts. <laughs> no, at least they shouldn't. Something funky going on. But Lev, you look at their economy, they can't afford to buy up here. Which means, in all likelihood, oh. we're heading to an explosive round 24 with huge alts online. But Loud still have to navigate this one first. And King is going to be a problem for Sadak to get through. Sadak's been trying to get hooker control just by flashing his way in, that kind of thing. If they want to go hooker here, King's going to be a menace with that judge. King holds his ground. Well, that util expended up through B long. All sent flying. And this is one of the first times that Loud actually follow the knife. Going up, taking B long after they suppressed Com. They might be expecting some kind of reclear here. Remember, Leviathan have gone for that before. And all of this is a bit of a fake, a bit of a ruse. Trailblazers is clearing. Doesn't spot anything. They don't break it. Yeah, that's actually pretty important. Now Loud are going to have to go back and make more noise in B long or even oh the my. QCK, there it is. And that's going to now call an audible for Loud. They were trying to fake it and hit over towards A, but they can just hit the gas. Knife in the back for Korn when he was just over peeking for that info. Rest of the team there. What do you choose to expend? Just the fault line for now. Seems that way, but plenty of reinforcements have arrived. A fast rotation of left. They want to be into this fight. Flash, dodge, that's fast! He's only good for the one. QCK left. was rapid Ferrari swing from him. And a plant, Five not pushed plant. back. King, though, still hiding. Oh, unfortunate with the timing. Rough. What can these players really do? Zeno, touch close. No rifle at hand, though, just the Spectre. Couldn't hit the transfer. Well navigated by Loud. Really excellent decision there. You can see the macro game plan in action. They realized that once the Trailblazers saw nothing over towards B long, they had to go back into that area. And Com, thinking that it was safe, just gave them the opening pick. Really smart play from QCK. And also these trade kills are excellent from him. He's negative on the scoreboard, QCK, but he's coming up with really high impact kills when his team needs them making sure he's part of the system. And here's our explosive round 24. But the odds online hit. Run it back, flash through. Popping straight into the site. Plenty of volleys. You took being expended here, but it's gonna be fading. Clears out the smoke still. Players not being pushed back. Guess what, Mazzino? He's still there. Down. Holding down the ground, but it was a bit of a ruse. They were just trying to pull the players away, but this entire time, Lev have not been pushed back. They've just taken B long control. They want to fight for this one themselves. Rolling Thunder carves his way through into the site. It's a refight attempt being called out. Thrash detained. Players locked up. And just they can't do a bloody thing. Live it here. In droves now. And three players left standing for loud. This could be it. The round, the map crumbling for them. Live hold it down. Plenty of players. Ready to receive. Welcome to my Fight to try and get them themselves out. Listen, the spike is on the ground. There's so much spam there onto Les. He's knocked down to 30 health. One more Vandal bullet will do it. It's just not doable for Loud. They need a miracle here. They're going to try and run themselves up now. Up through B long, but Thrash is round two. Once more to the table. He catches, and the corner's not there. Not in the slightest. It's over. In the blink of an eye, 30 seconds left. 30 seconds Weak and left. fragile, Les retreating. But what can he do? He's pulled off the first part of the heist, just getting the spike. 
20 seconds. He's gone back into B. It's the only option he's got, unless he TPs back, but then he's got another player waiting for it. And he's just got to pray to whatever deities he holds dear, but there is simply no chance that he is getting through all five left. players of Leviathan. It's looking preordained. Aspas. Finally, there it is. The